For the first time, we are hearing from the family of UAB running back Greg Bryant. The football star was shot in West Palm Beach over Mother's Day weekend and declared brain dead then. CBS 42 News reporter Alex Finney live in Birmingham tonight. And Alex, the family says they just want justice now. Absolutely right, Jim. That press conference in Delray Beach, Florida, just wrapped up a few moments ago in front of the family's house. Now, the uncle said that he was pronounced dead 1030 yesterday morning. That's when they made the final decision to pull him off life support. Obviously, a very sad situation for that community there in Florida and, of course, his family, but especially his mom and grandmother. They had to make this horrible decision on Mother's Day of all days. And a lot of us here in Birmingham, we knew him on the field, but off the field, the family says Greg was humble. He was a hungry kid who loved football. A candlelight vigil was held in Florida yesterday. Still no word on funeral arrangements just yet. His, but his parents, I'm told, uh, have been in constant contact with UAB. I just want you to take a quick listen to what his uncle Alan Mosley said just a few minutes ago in Florida. As a family, what we're not interested in is we're not interested in revenge because revenge won't give us Greg back. What we're going to request and what we're going to ask for, we're going to ask the Delray Beach Police Department in conjunction with West Palm Beach Police Department pursue this in a dogged manner so that we can make this individual accountable for his actions. Now, the family did say during the press conference that they're looking into whether or not they're going to donate his organs. Nothing official has been made in terms of that decision just yet. Now, we do know that this is being investigated as a homicide, and the family says that Greg was a great kid. He just surrounded himself with good people, loved his family, loved his friends, and always had a smile on his face. He will be missed by so many people. We're live in Birmingham. Alex Finney, CBS 42 News.